I'm Caroline Clay, Associate Director for Chapwood Children's Kindergarten through Second Grade. Today we're going to do a quick science experiment and it's called Elephant Toothpaste. And we're going to talk a little bit about God's overflowing love. You'll need the following items for this experiment. An empty one liter water bottle, a packet of active dry yeast, warm water, no more than one fourth cup, two cups of 40 volume clear hydrogen peroxide, also known as stabilizer, red food coloring, a glass carafe to hold the peroxide, measuring cups, a funnel, two labels, God's love for the carafe, and you for the imp This soap and a large pan to hold the experience. Pour the yeast into the warm water so it will dissolve and mix it. Measure two cups of the hydrogen peroxide. Add 13 drops of food coloring to make it nice and red. And mix it. Get the carafe labeled with God's love and pour the red mixture into it. Get the empty water bottle and find the soap. Pour about a teaspoon of liquid soap into the empty water bottle. Pull out the pan and place the empty water bottle in the pan and use the funnel to pour in God's love. And here's the lesson. Would you like to have more of God's love? Let the empty bottle remind you of you. The carafe reminds us of God's love. He shed his blood for us. My question for you, how do we grow or get filled with more of God's love? We get filled with God's love when we hear that Jesus died for us and rose again for our sins. We get even more love when we find out that he is never going to leave us and is always there for us. Knowing and believing these truths are always great for our love to grow. Have you ever wished you've had so much love that it would just pour over into other people's lives like your friends' lives or your family's lives or even other lives you come in contact with? Well, this can happen. In 1 Peter 1.22, Peter says, Love one another deeply from the heart. I think this kind of deep love can only happen through prayer. Now, let's take this yeast, which represents your prayers to God, to help your love grow so that it overflows to all of those around you. Let's add our prayers to what we already know is true about God and see what happens. Wow! When God fills us up with his love, it spills out of us and we can share that love with others. I want you to remember to continue to fill yourselves up with God's love through prayer and by reading the Bible and listening to people who will tell you about Jesus. When you do this, God's love will overflow to all you meet. Hope you enjoyed the experiment about God's love with elephant toothpaste. And I hope you join me next week.